sounds beautiful. It is. And, uh, you know, I love me some craft time. And, you know, we're always, we're trying to find some activities to do at home, right? As things are constantly changing. You can't really go uh, out and do some of these craft stuff. So you can do them at home thanks to this local artist. Uh, her name is Amber. And I love the piece that is behind you. Did you make that? Yes, of course yes, you I did. did. <laughs> uh, all of these pieces are ones that I've made. This is a Gorgeous. different kind of medium that yeah. I usually do. I usually do stuff like this, which is called acrylic pouring. Yes. And I offer kids. That is yes. beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so uh, you're, you're offering a new workshop, obviously trying to come up with creative ways, right, um, for people to get involved in and find their, their creative juices. Um, so this is called, and I have not heard of this, Mandela? Did I say Mandela? Mandala. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it up here so you guys okay. can kind of see what we're talking about here. Um, but basically, you're going to use a basic geometry set. So just a protractor. Some, oh, we uh, remember those bread. guys. <laughs> yeah. So easy. So now that your kids are home from school, go raid their backpack. There you go. You know they got stuff in there for you. <laughs> and all you're going to use is a piece of paper. And then we create a little grid. Okay, I, I can see I the can lines, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the black ones, you can see it a little yes, bit better. Yes, I can, uh-huh, okay. So we're gonna create a little grid and then we're gonna go through and real simply draw a pattern and create these beautiful, oh. easy little drawings. Okay, and what are you using? You're not using paint. You can use anything to oh. color them in. Color pencils, watercolors, oh, markers, um, Wow. Colored, uh, like those um, metallic uh -huh. markers are really fun to use on them yeah. as well. Yeah, I love that. Okay, and then do you mount these onto something? Yeah, you absolutely can mount them oh. and uh, frame them and hang them up. I love um, it. And these ones are kind of cool because I've used a metallic yeah. uh, paint on them. So they, they are. You kind of get a two for painting on that. I like that. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Amber, thank you so much. It's a new kind of art. I am not familiar with that, so I love that. Uh, the workshop that you are offering here, there's the information. It's coming up on the 29th at 7 p.m., um, so about an hour and a half class. If you are interested, how can people sign up? Absolutely. So we're working with Broadroom, which is a local art collective. So a portion of the proceeds will go to this to help support their artist relief fund, uh -huh. which has helped 55 artists locally in Sacramento that have mostly lost all of their income. Yeah. Um, I believe they have distributed about $8,000 to those 55 artists. So wow. definitely check out that. We're working with Broadroom and you can go directly to the Broadroom website or to theartsycart.com. Okay. You can find information out there Fantastic. as well. All right, we've got that linked up. I love that. An art class with a great cause, helping some local members, members of our community. We appreciate it. Amber, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank right you. All right, there you go. Back over to you.